Here we're going to be working on uh, pails and rails for the adductor to increase hip abduction. So we're going to start hands and knees here. You're going to have your leg out to the side. You want your leg in line with the hip and not too far forward or too far backwards. We're going to hold this stretch for two minutes beginning now. So just breathe, relax into it. If you need to sit a little bit deeper into the stretch from here, go for it. Good, so when you sit deeper, you can hinge back. Feeling a good stretch through here? Yeah. Cool. cool. And you also wanna make sure that your toe is facing forward and that it's not turned upwards. Good. Feeling that right in the inner thigh there, right? Yeah. Perfect. So in about another minute, I'll explain to you what you're gonna do. You're gonna start by pushing your leg down into the ground. We're gonna start light at like a 10% effort. And then we're gonna slowly ramp that up to about 75% of your maximum contraction. Now that might look a little different for everybody, but we start use those percentages and what 10% feels like for you might feel different from, for somebody else. Cool, about 30 seconds. A lot of coffee, cinnamon coffee for our pick. A lot of Most disappointing thing though is when it's like. 15 more seconds there over here. All right, take a big deep breath. And I want you to start driving this leg down into the ground at 10% effort. Good, so you're just contracting these muscles on the inner thigh here. I want you to hold that and start ramping up that pressure a little bit more. Let's go to 25%. Good, so you're driving this whole leg down into the ground. Good, from 25%, let's go to 50%. Good. From 50%, I want you to push at 75%. Hold this. When I say reverse, what I want you to do is pull this leg up towards the ceiling, but don't lift it up off the leg. I want you to slide the whole thing outward, squeezing these, these lateral glutes, trying to increase the angle at your hip here. You ready? And begin. Go ahead and reverse that direction. Pull up. Good. And try and slide this whole leg out. Trying to increase, good, and let that leg feel light on the floor. Good, hold that for five, squeeze here. Three, two, relax, stay right where you are. Good, we're gonna do one more round of that, okay? Take a big deep breath and start pushing down onto the floor. 10% 10, 10 effort. Good. Let's start ramping that up to 25%, good. This time we're gonna go all the way to 100% effort. Good, let's go to 50%. Good. 75%. Good. And take a big deep breath, drive this leg down at 100% as hard as you can, hold for five. Four, three, two, and reverse. Try and pull that leg up towards the ceiling. Good, try and increase the angle at your hip here. Hold, squeeze here for five, four, three, two, relax. And stay right here for about another 15 to 30 seconds. Good, let everything relax. You might feel some cramping in here and that's okay. Good. And very slowly come out of the stretch. Good, take your time. And that is the hip adduction pails and rails to increase hip abduction range of motion.